Chapter One of Iracema, the Honey Lips, a Legend of Brazil. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Iracema, the Honey Lips, a Legend of Brazil, by José de Alencar, translated by Isabel Burton. Chapter One. Wild green seas of my native land, where sings the Jandaya bird in the fronds of the Carnauba palm. Green seas which sparkle like liquid emerald in the rays of the orient sun as you stretch along the snowy beaches shaded by the cocoa tree be still ye green seas and gently smooth the impetuous wave that yon venturesome bark may softly glide over thy waters where goes that hardy jangada raft which rapidly flies from the ceara coast with her broad sail spread to the fresh breeze of land. Where goes it, like the white halcyon seeking his native rock in the ocean solitudes? Three beings breathe upon that fragile plank, which scuds so swiftly out, far into the open sea. A warrior youth, whose pale skin betokens that the blood of the Indians does not color his veins a child, and a mastiff, who both first saw the light in the cradle of the forest, and who sport like brothers, the sons of the same savage soil. The intermittent breathings from the shore waft an echo, which, rising high above the ripples of the waves, sounds forth Iracema. The young warrior, leaning against the mast, raises his eyes, which are fixed upon the fleeting outline of the shadowy shore. From time to time his sight becomes dim, and a tear falls upon the Giral bench, where frolic the two innocents, the companions of his misfortune. At such moments his soul flies to his lips in a bitter smile. What left he in that land of exile? A tale which they told me on the beautiful plains that saw my birth during the hush of night, whilst the moon, sailing through the heavens, silvered the prairies, whilst the breezes murmured amid the palm groves. The wind freshens, the surf rolls in higher billows, the bark leaps upon the waves, disappears on the horizon. Wide yawns the waste of waters. The storm broods, condor-like, with dusky wings over the abyss. God keep thee safe, stout bark, amidst the boiling billows. God steer thee to some friendly bide. May softer breezes waft thee, and for thee may the calm jasper seas be like plains of milk. But whilst thou sailest thus at the mercy of the wind's graceful bark, waft back to that white beach some of the yearning that accompanies thee, but which may not leave the land to which it returns. End of chapter 1